After years of calling for action, safety barricades are finally coming to platforms on the subway at some New York City stations. The MTA now launching a pilot program. It's going to start with just three stations. And the goal here, to protect passengers from falling or being shoved onto subway tracks. And the project was prompted last year by the death of a woman mm. pushed onto the tracks by a homeless man. Several other cities have this, but will New York install them too across the city? Here's Iowa News reporter N.J. Burkett. Subway riders have been living on the edge for generations. Some say they've never felt more vulnerable than they do right now. You know people that, that won't ride the subway? Absolutely, they'll take the bus all the way from uptown, all the way to go downtown. And that's unfair. Last year, 88 people were killed on the tracks. Some because they jumped, others because they slipped. And still others, like Michelle Goh, who were pushed. Last month, Amina Osoy was paralyzed and nearly killed after she was shoved headlong into a moving train. The MTA is moving ahead with a pilot program to install sliding screen doors in as many as three subway stations. Doors like these used on the JFK air train that open and close only when the train is in the station. On the 7 train at Times Square, as well as the L train at 3rd Avenue and the E train at Sutphin Boulevard, Archer Avenue in Queens. Many riders say the doors would make them feel a lot safer. That's the idea, definitely. I think it's wonderful. There are 472 stations in the transit system, but just 128 where platform doors are feasible, which is 27% of stations. And even then, the cost is estimated at $6.5 to $7 billion, more than the cost to build the existing 2nd Avenue subway. More than three and a half million people ride the subways every day. So far this year, according to the NYPD, three have been pushed onto the tracks. Even rider advocates say the money can and should be better spent. Riders deserve and need a much better system than we have today, but our political leaders have to prioritize. MTA officials admit that doors are not a solution, but it will cost tens of millions of dollars just for a handful of stations. The impact likely to be more public relations than public safety. In Midtown, NJ Burkett, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.